Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about roosters. And we're going to answer the question, can you have more than one rooster in a flock? So the simple answer is yes, you can, but it's a little more complicated than that. So we're going to talk about that today. Space is very important for your chickens. Remember, you need 10 square feet of space for each chicken. It's very important that you have enough space for your hens and your roosters. Often, the roosters and the hens will form a social group. You'll see a group of hens with one rooster in one corner of your run, and you may see the other rooster all the way at the other end of the run with his group of hens. There is a social order in the chickens. You will have a dominant rooster, and you'll also have a rooster that may not have quite so many hens. He may have two and the other rooster will have five or six. The next thing that we want to talk about is your ratio of hens to roosters. You want to have at least one rooster for every 10 hens. If you don't have enough, it will cause some fighting and some territorial dispute. The roosters are very protective of their group of hens and you will see them keeping those hens in line. They'll peck them, keep them actually in their own territory, especially if you have a big space. The rooster can be very protective of his hens he actually does lots of stuff for the, those hens. He, if he finds food, he'll call them to it. He'll protect the hen. There's been instances where roosters have killed hawks and other things that's tried to get after their hens. So they're very protective of their hens. They will peck them and keep them in line also. <laughs> The breed of the rooster is also very important if you are choosing to put more than one rooster in your flock. It's very important that you don't choose an aggressive breed such as the Rhode Island Red or Cornish rooster. A more docile breed would be the Buff Orbington, Jersey Giants, or Plymouth Rock. When introducing a new rooster to the flock, it's important that you do this with a few steps. First, you need to run a temporary wire across your run so the roosters cannot fight at first. It is important that they see each other so they can hear and yes, even peck and fight through the fence. After a few days, you can remove the temporary wire and let the new rooster into the flock. There will be fighting, and sometimes this can last for hours. They can kill each other, so you may need to separate them. It's my opinion that if you raise the roosters together from when they're small till they get grown, you have a much better success than just adding a rooster to the flock. I will leave a link to another video with more questions and answers that you may have about your chicken flock right here. Thank you for watching Southern Family Homestand.